everyone welcome back to Irene the educator and i'm doing a little bit different story today usually i do murdered while pregnant but this one is murdered while exing and this phenomena will be highlighted in the stories of women who were planning on leaving a relationship or they had left the relationship and they were murdered with that said Murdered while exing today is Faith Evans lookalike murdered by brutally honest ex con. And this phenomena, like I said, will be highlighting women who were planning on leaving a relationship or they had already left the relationship and they were murdered. And today we highlight the story of Asheray Ryan. Her date of death is July the 23rd, 2022. Asheray Harden was a 38-year-old mother of three children, and she was loved by her family and friends, and she had a beautiful voice. She often used it in singing in the church. Her life was taken by an ex-con ex-boyfriend. She will be greatly missed by all who loved her, and we'd like to also offer condolences to her family now i must warn you about the video he does have a potty mouth you imagine he's a bad person and he did warn her that he was polyamorous had a felony violent controlling so all these things that he feels like he told her and she accepted him like that so his psyche or his mindset was like he's entitled to hurt her and we know that just doesn't fly. Ashley does remind me of Candle and Sexton who was murdered on March the 30th in her eighth month of pregnancy by her baby's father who actually she captured the murder on tape and he sent it to his mother who allegedly I guess it was his mother who tur actually turned him in and he got him to turn himself in. So these things really happened. He had shot her in the head twice, but she just reminded me of her. And remember when Maya Angelou said, when they tell you who they are, believe them. This man's mindset is just so unbelievable. So after the disclaimer, you just have to watch the videos. Thank you. Like I said, this is a video you just have to watch to believe to see what his mindset is because you won't believe it from anyone telling you. So this is just a warning that he does have a potty mouth. People are going to call me crazier and wonder why I did what I did. Deception. Stop dealing in deception with people. When I met Ashley, I was openly polyamorous. I slept with women. I was upfront about it. I told her about my anger issues. I told her about my felony. I told her about prison. I told her about being, being, being controlling, violent, everything. I gave her every opportunity to walk away. I gave her every opportunity to be honest with me, but instead she chose to constantly deal in deception. I'm tired of it, period. And a lot of the deception is far beyond her. It comes from the Rockford Bucket Black Church. When I met her, she had just stopped fucking a pastor in his church. In fact, she's fucked with like four or five pastors here in Rockford. And it's not just her. The Rockford Black Church is corrupt as fuck. They protect these predatory pastors. They give them money. All these fucking pastors around, they got all these god daughters and young light skinned girls that they taking on trips to other countries and, and to all these concerts and church this and that. And you stupid people in Rockford pay the tithes and offerings to, to pay for this shit. I know countless women with evidence that have dealt with these fucking black pastors here in Rockford. And y'all go for it. The one of the worst motherfuckers is Ronald Alexander. Look in, your, look in his phone. Look in your daughter's phone if he's your, your, if your daughter go to his church. Look in her phone. EJ Parham. I don't know how the fuck he became a pastor. Everybody knows he's a 
almost every fucking day. Bishop James fucking around. And all this shit is always rumored about in Rockford, but it, it gets swept under the rug. And then another bad one was uh, Larry Hamilton, Ashley's ex-husband. He's so fucking corrupt. All his fake ailments and tithing and offering and sympathy. The two, Ashley and Larry were sneaky and corrupt together. And they birthed three sneaky, corrupt fucking Hate me for saying it, but it's the fucking truth. And now Larry can get all the fucking sympathy that he wants. He can get all the fucking time and offerings that he wants. Fuck him. Do better. Y'all supposed to be so fucking sexy. I've been looked down on by the black church my entire fucking life. When me and Ashley first announced that we was fucking around, my blood fucking turns and me and Washington go try to warn her on Facebook. Why? Well, here's your why. Fuck her. A heartbreaking story this evening about one woman who recently passed away. Our Shannon Taylor has more. Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases. People are slipping away. Ashley Harden was a mother, friend, and now a memory. Harden was allegedly murdered by her ex-boyfriend, Rayshawn Smith. Her best friend, Carla Trujillo, says she never expected anything like this to happen. I knew that he had problems, but I never, in my wildest dreams, never thought he would play God and decide whether she lives or she's gone. The 38-year-old's body was found in Rockton after she was reported missing. Because of Ashley's relationship with her boyfriend, Trevio says they were pulled apart. He pulled her from me where we didn't actually speak for three years, from 2017 until January of 2020, when she reached back out to me again. However, Trevio pushes forward by remembering what made her friend so special. She'll make you laugh. She'll make you smile. She will make those tears go away, you know, even if she's just cracking jokes. I'm still waiting for her to call me back. <laughs> I'm still waiting for her to just... I just got married and she's was so happy for me. I don't have a big support system, but that girl was my support system. You know? Alive lived, but never forgotten. Thank you for all you've done for me, yeah. From 13 News, I'm Shannon Taylor. Thank you, Shannon. Authorities say the investigation is still ongoing, but there is no credible threat to the public. For more information on this story, visit our website, WREX.com. Again, condolences to the family. And remember, when they tell you who they are, believe them. Maya Angelou.